Good afternoon, Floss Tube. How is everybody today? It was a pretty good day for me, being Monday and all, but it's a new week, new things are going on, and it'll be a busy week that I'm kind of excited for. So much stuff. Anyway, let's get started with the... Progress Report! Let's see, this week... I didn't get a lot of stitching done. Um, I was doing some other stuff instead. Some work here in the, the craft room, which I'll show you in a minute or two. But let's start with the stitching. So the first, well, the last thing I worked on, because that was yesterday, is my Sunday stitch. As you guys know, it is currently these pansies by Serendipity Design. Lovely pattern. And yesterday, I put in all the purples. Well, yeah. Yes, all the purples. So that was lovely to sit there and listen to the message and, and stitch. And feed my soul, both with thread and with the Word of God. Very good. Um... The next thing I worked on was my at work project, which has been the uh, the mystery sampler, sampler by Lizzie Kate, spooked. I don't know why I bothered to show this because it doesn't actually show any, well, hardly any of the pattern. Doesn't tell you what I'm doing at all. So, let's see, I folded this over twice, although I probably need to fish out my cardboard. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not going to do it. I need my little piece of cardboard. <laughs> All right. There we go. So this is how I am coming along. I've all but got it finished. Um, I am stitching it on a piece of Nyad by Under the Sea Fabrics, which was the Fabric of the Month fabric. A couple of well, I guess it was just last month. No, the month before, because I just got the other ones. And, let's see, let's hold it here. I haven't stitched the little um, motif that goes here between the uh, the two panels, because it was offset by one to the point of this little thing, and that drove me crazy. I did not like that. So, I'm waiting to stitch that until I see um, what section two has. And if I could move it, you know, one way so it lines up with the point or, or not. And then I haven't stitched the uh, little squares there that are above the diamond border. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that in the same brown that's charted or maybe a different color. You'll also notice that I have swapped out a, a purple for the, uh, the cadet that's called for. It's kind of a blue, which is a lot the same color as the um, fabric. But I decided you can't have a Halloween piece without a purple, and so I just made a simple swap there. The Cadet Blue for the uh, Purple Haze, I think is what this one is called. And so this one gets to be put aside, and I'm back to working on my Lavender Pansies at work. And this one will just kind of wait until the next uh, installment of the Mystery Sampler comes out. I did not work at all on the um, Satsuma Streets, uh, Pretty Little San Francisco. Um, I just didn't. What I did instead was started on the uh, floral border repeat here for By the Pattern, By the Dream. Got one half of it done there at the top. Got ready to do the next one and then promptly got sidetracked by something else. So there's By the Pattern, By the Dream and then I'll put another floral band there at the bottom. So I just did a little bit of work on that. I think that was just one evenings of stitching. Not, not like a full evening or anything, but a little bit. I think my sister and I, we were watching probably the Olympic, Olympic trials. We've been watching that for the, um, oh, the gymnasts. And we watched diving the other day. That was pretty good, too. So that is the little, little bit that I've been stitching on. Let me get out my notes. Okay, so what have I been doing instead of stitching? Well, I pulled out my bunting that I've had packed away for several years. Let me lean forward and aim the camera up, way up, 
I'll duck my head so you don't have to look at my forehead. Anyway, I spent a couple of nights, simply because I just did it in spots, hanging up my shabby chic bunting that I got like six years ago, and then I hung that uh, little Caprizi Cell chandelier up in the corner, added that, and so the bunting's on three walls. It's there on the back wall, it's on the window wall, and then it's on the wall that I face when I record. So I did that, tip that back. That's about right, not too shabby. Hung that up one day, and then like another day, I got out my uh, doorknobs. Oh, I was gonna say I wanted to hang some little fairy lights, uh, Christmas lights, up around the top of the, uh, the, the room too, but my sister said, your room always already looks enough like it's a, a six-year-old girl's bedroom, so how about we not do <laughs> Christmas lights? So I let her let her go on that one, so we aren't doing Christmas lights. Let's see, what else? Oh, the, the, the little knobs. I think last time I mentioned that they were just um, not as deep as the ones that Ikea brought, bought, and so they didn't fit well, 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 but here they are. And I just bought these off Amazon. I looked for purple door pools or purple doorknobs. And that's what I got. Let's see if I can, here's my, my thing to keep it all, it's not gonna show up very well, but I bought the washers so that I could, my poor camera doesn't know what to fit on. I bought washers to uh, fill the gap between the screw and the back of the board so that the uh, doorknob wouldn't wobble around at all. And it took about three of those washers to fill it out and it fits really well. And I cut up all my uh, shelf liner and put that in the bottom of my drawers. And that does the job that I wanted it to do so they don't slide around back and forth at all anymore. So that's what I did that and I did, oh, the other thing that's been taking up all my time, well, a lot of my time, is that um, World of Warcraft Legion is going to drop here at the end of August and the pre-patch is coming up which is going to bring a whole bunch of changes and things that are in-game will be taken out of game and this and that and the other and if you don't play blah 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 I'm just speaking nonsense but anyway my guild we have been doing extra raids so we're not progression raiders by any stretch of the imagination but uh, the guild population has been growing, partly because of new people coming in from the movie and partly because Legion is coming. And so we have an easy time filling up a 10-man raid now when before it was really difficult to do. So we've been doing some old raids, um, heroics and stuff. We just finished the heroic guild raids for P Pandaria, which is like two expansions ago, well, an expansion ago, just because there weren't people, but now we have people. So we got the mount, and we're going to start doing the uh, mythic dungeons for Warlords of Drainer, and we'll hopefully move into uh, some of the raids, but we probably won't be able to clear it all uh, before Legion drops. But I've been having a good time with my peeps online, so that's that's me being a big nerd. That is me being a big, big nerd. So that's everything on that page and halfway into my notes on page two. And you know what that means? It's time for stash acquisitions. Woo! Okay, so, uh, well, maybe two weeks ago because it takes a lot of time for stuff to get here. I just went completely off the rocker, lost my mind, and if it sparkled, I bought it. And I bought a lot of stuff. And I'm sorry. But not sorry. Okay. The uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you that has come in is a set of uh, a minders from Brenda's Minders and More. Here we go. Whoop. Get them in center. Got the bike and a flower, a pegasus, a Christmas tree, and a rose. And, oh, there was one more, but I've already put it on. It's also this little butterfly minder here on By the Pattern, By the Dream. Using that one there. And if I'm smart, I'll remember to add a link to Brenda's face group, Facebook group in the comments below. So those arrived, and 
that bike, you guys, is just so stinking cute. It's adorable. I love it. So there are those. Um, and what really went crazy nuts is um, Fabrics by LJ. He had a huge, huge um, update uh, two Sundays ago. And I got myself into more trouble than I should have. And so he's having another huge update this upcoming Sunday on the 17th. And so if you, you should join the Facebook group and show up at like, well, it's 9 a.m. my time, but I think that's like 11 a.m. Eastern time. So show up about 10 minutes early and start hitting your F5 button on your, your browser to refresh his, his group early because he'll start posting around about 11 Eastern time. But anyway, that's just me babbling on, babbling on. Anyway, I got my order from the two weeks ago. And I ordered a lot of stuff. And I don't, well, I ordered it all because it's pretty and not necessarily because I need it or am going to use it. But we'll start with this. This is a 14 count Ada and it is in his colorway Daydream. And I don't usually stitch on Ada or stitch on a 14 count, but I just loved some of the feathering that you can see. Maybe I'll put my, uh, there we go. Hold up my piece of cardboard so you can kind of see it. I love the feathering. I love the colors, the dark purples with the blues and, and a little bit of pink over on the edge. Woohoo! Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I, uh, I will use it probably when I'm 80 and I can't see the little tiny holes on the 32 count anymore. Got a plan for the future, you guys. Got a plan for the future. Okay. The next uh, piece I bought was a 16 count Ada in the colorway Dark Princess. So here's one side of it. And I think he called it Dark Princess because it colored or dyed a lot darker. Maybe this is okay without the cardboard. Anyway, it colored a lot darker than his normal um, princess. But I just love, can you see here, all the feathering that's going on, just ah, beautiful, beautiful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Don't know what I'll do with it, but it was pretty. A lot of you have say, said you just, you know, frame it and hang it on your wall as is, and there's a lot of truth to that. I might frame it as it is and hang it on the walls and cut down some of the echoey in here. Let's see, this is uh, also a 16 count Ada. And the colorway was Arcane Magic. And Arcane Magic is a, is a WoW reference, a World of Warcraft reference. And his picture showed it as online as being a lot gray. So I was afraid that it would be kind of gray and, and muted. But it it's a nice blue. I mean, it really is kind of a gray blue. But there's a lot of purple in there. And of course, the swirls and the modeling and the just, you know, I... It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm glad I took the gamble on that one. Um, I thought it would be more gray than it is, and it just, it has a little bit more of a, a blue tinge to it. This is Laguna 28 count. Um, colorway is Bayside Blue. And this also was showing a lot more gray in, in Lucas's photo way, photos. But I needed a dark blue kind of like this for something. I had something specific in mind for it, and I just can't find my notes now to tell me what it was I wanted to do on this. Isn't that just the problem for all of us? We have so much going on, and even notes don't always help. But anyway, Bayside Blue It's a winner. They're all winners. This is also Laguna, 28 count, and the colorway is Karen. Purple is my favorite color, although you guys wouldn't be able to tell because I seem to make all my videos when I am not wearing purple, but I usually end up wearing a lot of purple. So that side. Let's go from the other side. So I buy a lot of purple things. So that is Aunt Karen, a nice piece. In Laguna. I'm really enjoying the Laguna. I usually um, just go for the linen. 
but you know linens can be really stiff so I've been enjoying how um, slaw soft and and flexible the the lagoon the oh my goodness English the Lugana has been that's really nice all right what's next this is linen so we're back to our, our linens this is a 28 count and it is colorway bog so it is a lovely greens with blues really nice it has some lovely blues back here this one you do need the cardboard you can see through it there we go and it's showing up really yellow green at least in my uh, my monitor it'll be interesting to sh see what it shows up when I do the playback but it's it's not as yellow a green as it's showing up there it's more of a grass green kind of the green you you uh, get with a good healthy lawn so that is bog fantastic this is cool springs like I said I was searching for a nice blue that I could use and have a pattern for this side of the uh, cool springs is really airy um, there's not a lot of blue to it, so you are seeing that, yeah, it is a lot white. But this side has some nice movement to it, and I think, you know, maybe use each half for something different would be really nice. So this is Cool Spring. It really does look like a cloudy sky. Might have to put a fairy on it. Surprise! Skies and fairies, right? Put that there. All right, uh, 28 count lavender. And this is exactly what it says it is. It is a nice light lavender. There doesn't happen to be a lot of different colors or modeling or anything on it. It is, it does have some, some variegations to it, but they're very soft and you can, they're not really noticeable very much at all. So some very soft uh, modeling for the lavender and I think that would be another lovely candidate for a mermaid not a mermaid a fairy very 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 that and then last of all from uh, fabrics by LJ is he had a couple of extra from the fabric of the month from I don't know whenever and so I picked up another cut of the uh, 32 count honeysuckle that he dyed, like I said, for fabric of the month. It's the same fabric that I am doing by the pattern by the dream on, and it's just a, such a pretty soft yellow. I think this pet this uh, cut might be a little bit darker. This dye might be a little bit darker than the one that I initially initially received, but there is nothing wrong with that. And that one came with um, the spearmint floss right there. So I have two more spearmint flosses. My next, my last bit of, of fabric is the uh, fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics and it is a lovely pinky purple by the name, oh I better read the name to make sure I have it right, Daphne. Yep. And my cut is lovely and softly modeled very very pretty I'm really happy with the uh, fabric of the month club for under the sea fabrics so I think I'll, I'll hang on to that for a while more and uh, Lucas has started up a fabric of the month he's sort of restructured it a little bit for fabrics by LJ and I I've lucked out and I'm in that so I think for a while if I was a smart girl which Sometimes I am not. Um, I would just, you know, stick with the two fabric of the month uh, things and just let everything else go. All right, five, five more bits of stash positions. It's five more bits. I had to. I went out to Hobby Lobby the other day for something, and I did get what I wanted, but then I had to hit the uh, cross stitch section. And they had quite a few things, well, not, well, okay. They had quite a few things on clearance, and there were quite a few things that I thought about picking up. I picked it up, put it in my basket, walked around, came back, took it out of the basket, put it back on the wall. Like six or seven things, and I finally just walked out with, with two items. 
And so that's that's really good for me, guys. Really good. I actually put stuff back. Anyway, so the first thing that was over on the clearance wall was just this best of cross stitch basics from Leisure Arts. You can see the uh, originally 1995. I picked it up for 718. So a little less than half, a little more than half off. It was just about right. Um, I like the alphabets in it. There are some other, you can see it's growing flags. So I've looked through it and decided some stuff. So just some basic stuff. Um, some stuff that'll pretty much go into my library. So if I'm thinking, oh, I need a little tiny motif for this or a little something or another for that, I can, you know, pick it up and do it. And, you know, here, this page just happened to have patterns. So I like the little bouquet cards on that page. And then there's some other little cards over here, some smalls. Anyway, yeah, just, just pretty stuff. A little bit of a variety. I'll put that back here. Oh, no, maybe that'll go here. Squish all my projects. There's always keeping track of everything, making sure that the window is good. And then this one is the uh, the lovely letters. It's growing, growing tags as well. It's ones that I want. So anyway, lovely letters. It was in the clearance bin too. My Hobby Lobby happened to have like four of these. Well, now there's only three of them because I took one. And I actually had this on my 123 wish list and 123 still had it at full price. So I... Uh, just went for low cost. Toby's excited. What's up, buddy? Come here. His person is gone, and so he's standing on her bed looking out the window at the parking lot here at the condo complex, and he likes to bark when people go by. I hope he's not too loud. Hey, stop. All right, the next one is one of the uh, Better Homes and Gardens uh, cross-stitch Christmas hardback books. This one is Needlepoint Treasures. It's from 2013. Nope, that's a lie. This one's from 2003. And I happened to stumble across it in the used book section of Amazon and ordered it from there. And I don't think it was ever used because all the paper, all the pages are pristine. They um, nothing marked, nothing bent, nothing creased. Um, let's see if I can find the. Uh, oh, I put a flag there. A flag would be, but I distinctly remember several, several years ago. Back up. That here we are. This little pattern with the ornaments was quite in demand. A lot of women who are on the uh, one, two, three stitch message board were, were uh, uh, doing it and there was quite the uh, herd trying to find it. The funny thing is, is, I don't know if you can see it, maybe if I hold the page, down there in that last corner is a little mouse sleeping where a uh, ornament should be. And so I thought that was adorable. No, you really couldn't see that, could you, just because of the way the uh, book folds. So that arrived, and then my last two books came from Hirschner's. They've got my number. I get an email. Every time they send me an email, I go to their website and check it out. I should know better than now, but now, now, ugh, I should know better by now, guys, but I just, I don't. I don't. Anyway, you can see here, it is growing little flags as well, but this is a cross-stitch Christmas, another one. And this one is the 2013 one. So it was on sale for about six bucks. So that was worth it to me. And they had a uh, flat rate shipping or something going on at that time. So I picked that one up. And then they also had the 2014 Cross Stitch Christmas. There's my flags. Growing all flags. Anyway. So this is the 2014 one, which was also $15. I should pull my fingers away so you actually get a good view of it. And so that is all the stash that has arrived in last week. 
I'm trying to be good because it's July. I'm trying to be really, really good, but I've already ordered my needle minders from three vendors and... Uh, oh, I uh, spent you the uh, gift certificate on what, at 123 Stitch that I won from Morgan and Marilla. And so that will come one of these days. I don't know why I always say Morgan and Marilla when it's really Mar Marilla and Morgan on their, their site. Because my mind, it just remembers things the way it wants to remember things and not necessarily the way things should be remembered. So that is all the stash. There's more stuff coming. I need to be better about this. I really do. So let's see what the upcoming week is going to be. I don't know that I'm going to get to stitch a lot. Um, just because my birthday is on Wednesday, yay! I turn older. It happens. One more trip around the sun, woo! Uh, so let's see, Wednesday is my birthday, which also means I get to go visit the DMV, yay, and get my uh, license renewed. But what's really exciting is I bought myself uh, VIP tickets to the Bare Naked Ladies concert so I get to meet the band and have my picture taken with them and, you know, nerdy geek stuff. I finally decided, well, I'm 40, maybe I'll go meet the band. I've only been enjoying their music for 20 plus years. So that's, that's coming. Like I said, more stashes in the mail somewhere. I think that's everything for the upcoming week. I don't know. We have a field trip for work tomorrow, so I'll have to make up the stuff that I needed to do at work later in the week because we won't be at work tomorrow for work. Um, that'll be fun. Um, I think that's everything. That looks like everything. Shall we see if Toby will come say hi? Toby, come here, buddy! No, come here! Right here, look, right here. Right here. No, up higher, on the desk, dude. Right here, look. Toby. Up, up, up. He's not gonna look up. He's looking for snacks. Here, I'll use this. Right here, right here. Hey. Can you come up? Can you come up? can't entice the Toby to come say hi. I might have to cut all of that off. No, I won't. Am I talking? You don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> He's laid down and Miss Zoe Cat has fled. It's really funny though because Toby doesn't care at all about the cat. He just doesn't care. Oh, it's another animal who lives here and I can't eat you, therefore you have no value to me. And I'm not, he doesn't chase her, he doesn't, he ignores her wholesale. But she's a little skittish of the dog. But she's getting a lot better. She'll um, hold her ground when he walks down the hall, if she's sitting in the hall. Or if, for the most part, if he comes into a room she's already in, she'll hold still. But it looks like I made too much noise and, and got him too excited, so he's... He's, he's laid down on the floor to, to watch what I'm doing, and Miss Zoe Katz fled. But anyway, so we're going to try to end this again for like the third time. That's everything. Thank you so much to everybody who watches, who comments, and subscribes. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope all your stitching dreams come true. If it's just for today or tomorrow, that's the best. If it's longer than that, Good job! Keep going! And I hope that the Stitchy Frog stays far, far away from you. Have a good night, everybody. Hugs and stitches. Bye! What you doing? Where's your person? Alrighty.